What's up guys, what's going on? So I think we another video. Today we are back in the forest. Last we left off we have this awesome completed base. There were creepy people outside worshipping us. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Uh, I hope not because I was kind of extremely intimidating. So let's try to just kind of wiggle our way out here. And go light up our effigies. We did have another effigy that was supposed to be complete over there but it didn't save for whatever strange strange reason uh but yeah so today since for the most part we are done with our base that i can't get up because this stupid stair thing is freaking awful uh, 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 uh. come on come on what the yeah like i said this doorway sucks like it's actually terrible to get through but whatever it's gonna keep us safe no no reason to complain so for the most part we are done with the whole uh, building thing. Uh, really, if we're gonna build anything else, probably gonna be a couple traps by our base. Uh, we might do that this episode, but I do want to go out and adventure a bit as well, because a lot of you guys were asking for some adventuring, because a lot of you guys are kind of getting sick of all the building, even though a lot of you guys are also enjoying it, so, like I said, try to mix it up a bit. Uh, but really quick, I do want to see, yeah, that's what I was talking about last episode, where with the blueprints and whatnot, uh, you can't, you can't build off of these walls. So if I wanted to build a roof on this building, which would be pretty cool, I'd have to like place that there first and kind of have it go off there, which could be kind of stupid, but you know, what goes goes or whatever the fuck that saying goes. I don't even know what saying I was saying. Okay. Well, uh, I do want to place a couple more gardens and hopefully, uh, let's try to turn that to like a decent angle. Is that? That's decent. Okay, that looks what I do. Shit, just hit that again. Ah, uh, there we go. I'll kind of do it like that. Kind of wanted to line up with the wall. I do want a couple of these blueprints, so we could build a couple of these gardens in our home. That is the hope of things. Let's get one more going here. I think. There we go. Let's get one more right there, and hopefully get some gardening powers going on there. Maybe make a second floor right over the gardens that's kind of what I'm thinking try to blueprint up a second floor and then you just kind of parkour jump from here just onto it it's kind of my guess how I want to do that uh, we should probably sleep through the night though because it is pretty dark hopefully not get awoken there we go it's it's like that weird time it's like that weird dusk where it looks really dark outside but in reality it's not dark at all so uh, we do have this one log in here which we can pick up that's one log, it's not really much, because the stupid log holders are a bit glitchy right now, which is kind of unfortunate, because I, I did have quite a few leftover logs last time around, but we'll just throw that into there. Is there, like, another one I could pick up? It looks like I could press E for a sec. What was that? No. Probably just my imagination. Well, let's go ahead and pick up a couple of these rocks while they are here. I uh, keep an eye out. Make sure we don't get jumps. Yeah, but I'm still a bit mad about that we had an effigy right there. It was almost done. So you know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead. Let's start building another effigy just in case. Because I feel like a large effigy like around here could be very effective at keeping them away. What the hell is that? Is that just, okay, that's just like a string of rocks. Uh, the trees have not regrown. Apparently they did fix that. Because before you could actually... I don't know. When you saved or reloaded a save, I think trees actually regrew. Which was pretty awesome up until... They stopped doing that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm saying we adventure off over here. Try to pick up that weak spear to get us some food. Because we are... Our tummy's going to start grumbling pretty soon. It's getting pretty low. We still don't have a head. We probably want to get that checked out. Uh, I don't think... I think the nearest doctor to this island though is like some sort of witch doctor. That's with the whole cannibal mutant tribe. And I'm not entirely sure... I want a witch doctor performing a surgical operation such as putting my head back on me. So, yeah, let's not let's not uh, mess with that. We'll we'll wait. We'll wait until there's a reputable doctor somewhere. So that's that's the game plan. Speaking of game plan, so blow that guy up. Pick up his body parts. Where did his head go? Do we have it? Heads are kind of the most valuable part because heads are an absolute bitch to get. Also, while we are here, we do definitely want to go to the boats and pick up a few items that are in there, most notably the flare gun, along with a couple snack bars that are actually over there. We'll leave this body for now, because... I don't know, I don't really want to pick it up if there's... What the, oh, 
I don't really want to pick it up if we can't use the head because again the head is by far the most valuable thing to get out of this so uh getting a bit paranoid but again paranoia is my thing my, I can still see my uh, shit shack of a shelter up there can't believe that's survived I don't get why it's called temporary shelter I feel like it do any of you guys in the comments know the difference like what's the is there a gameplay difference between the temporary shelter and the, the normal shelter the hunting shelter is there a difference between those two because I don't really can't really don't really see a difference so I don't know at least my two cents okay there is the boat we will also pop open a couple of these briefcases while we are here but I would love to get uh, get this really quick hopefully not get attacked by a shark but I think we need to swim out in order to get attacked by a shark and I do want to end off an episode getting attacked by a shark. I feel like that could be pretty fun and we could see if maybe we could kill it. Because, I mean, I don't know, maybe they're friendly. Like, sharks can be friendly too, but let's go ahead and go under to grab that. Let's get on top of the boat. Grab whatever we can topside. No, let's not go back under. Whoa. Dove down real quick that time. Hot damn. It's going to give me a second to resurface. There we are. Uh, those sharks, luckily, they are staying in the pretty deeper waters. Uh, let's get a second cassette player. Yeah, it'll have twice the cassettes, twice the firepower. All these snack bars. Definitely grab those. Uh, we'll eat one to kind of keep us satisfied for now. Uh, we have some mutants running towards us. Are they running towards us? I Yeah, it looks like it. Let's grab that cloth. Oh, they're running past us. Oh, shit. I got stuck for a sec. Uh, they're running up that hill. Yeah, that tree. A lot of you guys were saying uh, that that place was a terrible place to build. I was fully aware of that. I just kind of wanted a temporary shelter, and that seemed like an alright place, but uh, yeah, no. They, those things, like, they're attracted to there, and I'm not really into that type of thing. You know, I'm not really into getting constantly attacked, even though my new building place seems to suffer from the exact same problem. So, <laughs> fantastic luck. Seriously, fantastic luck. Brought to you by me. Uh, hopefully they don't come running back at us. That's really all we can hope for. Ah, uh, fuck. Didn't want a tennis ball. Shit, let's just throw that. Oh my god. Thing's got, thing's got some bounce to it. Step hot and damn. Let's pick up some cloth. Possibly craft some Molotov cocktails on our... Nope, nope, not dealing with picking up a tennis ball. I would just love to get a full snack bar inventory so I can save the briefcases or suitcases near our base and I don't have to open those for a while. I kind of want to leave that as emergency food because it's it serves its purpose as emergency food awesomely. Seriously, is that's the one thing I love about beach spawns or just being near suitcases in general. Like, I, honestly, I think it's the best place, especially like this place too. Besides the fact that a bunch of patrols come here. Uh, there are, there's a fishing spot there and maybe even one down there, so seriously, there's, there's fish to be caught everywhere, and it's sort of, kind of, a little bit awesome. Alright, let's go ahead, crack open a couple more of these, we have a few batteries that we can't really do anything with, I think they just serve as quote-unquote ammo for the flashlight, I think that's really all they do, so nothing amazing, not grabbing that shit. It's in there. Oh, nice. We still have our full armor. I think I picked something up. We got a s dead slash sleeping person over there. We got like four, maybe five more suitcases. Looking pretty clear on the coast. That's always a good sign. What's in here? More sticky snack bars. We got, was it a rock? We got, fuck, we got a tennis ball. Let's just throw that over there with my Peyton Manning arm real quick get that we got actually no I think this is the last one right here unless there's like one behind me it looks like that's it so let's grab whatever we can and get the fuck out of here never mind we got a few more nah yeah no actually I think this is the only one we didn't open might as well open it then nice we got some alcohol and pretty much we blew open everything over there so now we run home to not alert them of our presence, even though I have no clue where the fuck they went. Hopefully not behind me. That'd be terrible. But yeah, I don't see them over there unless they're just too far away to be spawned in, or my angle isn't the greatest. Either or, 
Uh, dead shark. Sorry to hear that shark. So yeah, game. Uh, we we got. We're not gonna lie. I say not gonna lie a lot. <laughs> I've I've realized that as a lot of people have pointed out. It's it's my catchphrase. You know, not gonna lie is my catchphrase. Not gonna lie. Uh, that'll that'll be the catchphrase I get made famous for. Like shits and giggles and I don't know other other catchphrases. I'm not I'm not good with the whole catchphrases thing. All right, not my thing. Let's clip this axe back. Let's keep an eye out out inland and run home hopefully there aren't a shit ton of structures uh just implemented around our house by the mean people that would be terrible but uh hopefully we are good we're getting pretty close to home and after this we'll just chop down maybe one two trees and try to uh what should we call Try to get the gardens. That's that's what they're called. They're called gardens, of course. How did I not know that? And while we are here, I do want to hunt a couple fish. So I have a food supply. And then when we do adventure inland a bit, I can actually do some cooking. That is going to be good. So we have to adventure off over to this little curve. A uh, curve at the beach? Yeah. I think that's correct enough terminology. Uh... What is that? Oh, I, I was just going to compliment my base, not what is that. That's my base herder. Uh, God, base looks sexy. If I could get a roof on that thing. Uh, OP, plus nerf. Alright, where are you, fishies? I'm coming. Papa Star is coming. I need food. Come here. 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 Hey, hey, hey you fish. Fish. I'm overshooting this. Uh, there we go. We got a couple more. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, let's keep an eye out. Would not want to get jumped in this situation. There we go. I think we got like what? No, I think we are full on fish. Yes, we are. We got four, which I want to say is the max. Maybe five is, but it said I can't carry any more raw fish. So I'm going to listen to what it said, even though what the game says usually isn't the most trustworthy of things. While we do adventure inland, we probably want to kill a Komodo dragon or two for A, it's food, and B, so we can get some backup lizard armor. Uh, oh wait, our briefcases don't respawn. Oh shit, so they're just gonna be open. Oh, I thought they'd maybe respawn. Well, guess the sa guess saves are becoming slowly but yet surely more functional and serving a purpose. Was that a rabbit cage? I think I have to catch a live rabbit for that. That's not gonna be a thing right now. Let's adventure through this glitchy ass stupid. There we go. Let's get air fire cooking. Throw a poop ton of leaves onto this thing. Just like tappy a bunch on that. A couple more times. And then where is our fish? Holy shit, I put my phone on freaking vibrate. Why am I so stupid? Okay, uh, mini jump scare. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> that's that's my bad, guys. Uh, I'm s I knew I was forgetting something. I'm like, why do I feel like I forgot something very obvious? And what's you know, I forgot to fucking turn off vibrate on my phone. And not only does my phone have quite literally the most obnoxious vibrate feature ever, it's an HTC One and it's like a body is made out of metal, so it vibrates like super hardcore. Not only that, but my table is like maybe half an inch of wood so it it actually like amplifies the vibrations it's it's terrible but whatever whatever so let's see we going to need five more oh shit is it overcooked no quick eat it there we go nice 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 okay so what are we gonna need we're gonna need five logs for that and i do want to get a couple of traps going that would be good a happy birthday trap does it even work I don't know, new straps definitely work. We might want to hang a couple of these, see if those dumbasses get caught on them. And they should be mildly entertaining. <laughs> Let's see where where to put it. I guess like right there. We'll put it like back to back, maybe. Uh yeah, one right there. It's gonna take five logs, so a tree and two sticks. Alright. Tree and two sticks. What else can we get? Uh we'll get another new strap kinda here ish. Or no, we'll do it. We'll do it back to back. Like I said, this is gonna look so derpy, but going to work. Hopefully, I hear shit rustling in the leaves. Okay, well, I guess the paranoia will start sending soonish, but not quite yet. So there's there's plenty of time for that. Let's see how to set this up so it's kind of 
kind of straight. There we go. Like that. And back to back. Uh, I guess that's like the gallows that they'll hang from before their execution. Let's get a, another one right here-ish. Because they, they usually walk like about this way. I mean, I guess that's it's like it's an alright estimate there. Want to space it somewhat well. This is going to be a shit ton, but they're seriously not going to be welcome that way. That's what. I, that's pretty. That's pretty much the equivalent of what's going on. I. That was just a weird noise. I was that in game. Sounded kind of like a bird, but kind of not. If that makes sense, that was. That was weird. That was really weird. Okay. Do a bit more turn in there, and there we go. We'll do it that way. Hopefully, they can't just walk through this because trying to make like X's and shit. So it's kind of they. Hopefully, they won't walk through that. Let's get a one more. Yeah, I think one more should be good. Like if they take this much of a detour, they deserve to live. Actually, no, they don't. But still, I'll be a benevolent ruler because this island is going to be mine in the long run. So they can suck it. Can suck a fat one. Okay, maybe, maybe get like one more. Okay, we got one more. Not sure if we're gonna build all of these. Like, yeah, I'm not even sure if we're gonna have enough time to build all of these in one episode. But there we go. Gigantic wall of shit. It's pretty much what it is. Gigantic wall of just, just, just hanging shit. It's fantastic. I know. There we go. That is going to take a lot of wood, but at the same time. Uh, it pretty much serves as a wall for that side, and for this side, I love a couple birthday traps. Maybe a couple birthday traps on the beach, because they do wander the beach sometimes. Maybe some defensive walls? Actually, defensive walls wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Kind of surround our base in them, give us a bit of an exterior. We might do that, but not this episode. This episode is about trapping and exploring. We'll make the next set of episodes, next recording session. We'll expand our base with some defensive walls on the exterior, which should be faster because they're not. It's not going to be two floors of defensive walls, so hopefully, hopefully, that goes well. Now let's see which way does this shit get triggered. Ah, uh, fuck! I think no, no, yeah. I think it goes that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It goes that way. It goes that way. Goes the way that the wood shit is facing. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got this. I got this. So we'll put these on the beach because I've seen them come down this shore a couple times. So we'll get uh, kind of space them out, not super evenly, but let's turn that around a bit more. Just laying the blueprints right now. We'll get that one. Uh, there we go. I'm happy with that angle. Get a couple of these. How much do these even take exactly? How much do they take? Four logs. Okay, so not really as expensive. Or exp not as resource heavy as a couple other things. Let's get a couple more. That should be good. I don't think they walk too close to the shore, so hopefully they don't take a detour around it. Now let's see if this glitch works, because if you have a rock equipped... see, can I do that? I think if you have a rock equipped, it won't, like... It counts as infinite, maybe. Yes. Okay. So this is this is a handy glitch here. As long as you have a rock equipped, I don't think you can actually run out of rocks. So check this out. Those don't need rocks, but I already used up six rocks. So theoretically, I should be done. But as you can see, I've I can just keep using rocks like all I want. Oh shit! I should probably unequip this rock. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta unequip the rock now. Uh, hopefully there's still going to be one in my inventory. Okay, yeah. So as long as you have one equipped, you actually can't run out of it. So we're going to do this. Let's see if we can do this with heads. Because if so, that's going to be an, that's an awesome glitch. Shit. Okay, so it doesn't work with heads. But last, last episode, or last series, last session, recording session, we were somehow able to do it with sticks. And now we know for sure that uh, rocks work as well. So those two resources, if you have it equipped, like sticks, I'm at zero, wait, what?